These are the 10 ways Costco gets you to spend more money. 10 sneaky ways so you might overspend at Costco. Great to be with you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I am the, I had to swallow there. I don't know why, I'm not emotional, I'm happy to be here. I am the deal guy, Matt Granite. If you like this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. That helps dictate what type of deals and content I feature in my upcoming videos. Subscribe, turn your notifications on. I hear from a lot of people that, that miss some of my insider clearance deals and tips and I wanna make sure that never happens to you. Before I showcase these 10 insider secrets that Costco doesn't want you to know, a reminder, everything you need is on mattsdailydeals.com, all of my favorite deals, including my new favorite power bank, which is $29.99 and is a built-in wireless charger. It's all there. I do use affiliate links, which means I benefit monetarily if you're kind enough to use one of my links. Now for the first secret, which may be a little bit obvious to you, the store, primarily Costco, that you enter into to get all those bulk purchases made and buy household essentials is not laid out to your advantage. It's built for the retailer's advantage. And I wanna show you some things which I don't believe are that obvious. For some of you, you're gonna say, you knew that, but I guarantee if you watch this video from start to finish, you will have your, your mind blown on at least a couple of things and you will save more cash than you thought possible. So whatever store layout it is that you see for your local Costco, it is not laid out to make things simple for you when you shop. As I'm sure you guys have realized, the most expensive products are generally in the center of the store. And to get to many of the deals, you're going to this corner right here, this corner right here, and you're walking through all sorts of purchases, many of which are impulse buys located on these aisles. And then of course, when you go to check out at the cash. And there was a study done recently, the average American spends $4,500 per year on impulse buys. That's a substantial number. It was a 2018 study that I read, but regardless of whether or not you succumb to impulse buys, not everything is on sale. So similar to what any large retailer will do, the high price item is placed beside the item that's at clearance. And they often occupy many of the same store shelves and end caps. So please be very careful when you're walking through Costco. There's amazing deals throughout the store, but that top deal is usually located beside items at full price. Another example is a TV at a huge reduction is always placed side by side with HDMI cables and other peripherals, which are very expensive. Secret number two, Costco does not accept manufacturer coupons. They give you many other types of discounts and some great member services and discounts and member newsletters, but not manufacturer coupons. And of course, that could mean you are spending significantly more on non-Kirkland products. We're gonna talk about the Kirkland Signature brand and some other tricks attached to that in a moment, but that is one of the huge ways that Costco always gets you to spend more money. The third way that Costco sneakily gets you to spend more money is based on that whole warehouse vibe, that aura that they create. If you guys look, whatever image it appears in your local store, the way things are organized, as you can see right here, I'm just gonna see if I can call up some other images, like this right here, right? The fluorescent lights, the warehouse shelves, the way things are all stacked, and you, you get this wholesale vibe. And a lot of the time, I'm sure when you guys are shopping, you may assume what many consumers believe, which is that it's it's just laid out this way because it's wholesale and it's made its way into a warehouse and it's being stacked that way based on how the shipments are received. There, there's many ways that people try to justify that experience, but you feel like you're shopping in a warehouse. Costco is a large physical retailer and similar to something like an Ikea store, you are conditioned to believe you are getting a lesser price on everything and that of course, has many of us spending more. Now, I know you guys are very smart shoppers. You're not going to overspend. You know where the deals are, but you, you have that feeling, right? You're in a warehouse, you're there to save, you've got a membership, and Costco will build on that by placing some things on store shelves that are not actually at all warehouse prices. So keep that in mind. While we are discussing that vibe, I wanna remind you guys that free samples are not necessarily always present to get you to buy the corresponding full price product for what you're being offered for free. Costco's free samples and snacks and the fact that when food courts are operational, they're conveniently located at the ends of the store, so you have to generally walk through it. It's to get you to spend more time in the store. People love free samples. They love getting free stuff. It, means that we are likely going to spend more time in a store. And of course, that that is a time for you to potentially 
give a retailer more money. So free samples are again to create and build a, a sense of environment that's one of the main reasons they exist. So keep that in mind when you are shopping at Costco. The fifth way Costco gets you to spend more money is with its Kirkland signature in-store brand. Now they were brilliant when this brand was built to deliver quality, but because this brand exists, it's nearly impossible to price match against it. So keep in mind when you are shopping, you're getting some incredible substance, some heightened quality tied to the signature line where almost everything you can buy from it is awesome, but it's it's nearly impossible to price compare. On something like I'm, I'm a parent, I've got a two-year-old daughter diapers, right? You, if I wanna buy the Kirkland brand, it, it appears to be a great deal, but when I compare it to Huggies and Pampers, I don't know if I'm coming or going on certain quantities for certain sizes, the promotions, and how they are very difficult to price match. So please keep that in mind despite our love for the Kirkland Signature line. The sixth way that Costco gets you to spend more money, home installation services. They know they get you on these dirt cheap appliances and these incredible deals tied to your home. But by the time you get it professionally installed and you go through the delivery and setup for many of these products where you would need assistance, you are inevitably paying more. And if you actually look at some of the local delivery HVAC options compared to Costco, it's not always to the consumer's advantage. It's kind of like Geek Squad at Best Buy. By the time you get that awesome TV over to your house for the setting it up, the calibration, the premium HDMI cables, I mean, you, you might as well have just purchased your TV full price. That was an experience that I, I saw an unfortunate member of my family have. Not an unfortunate member of my family. That was, because my family member is very nice and I love them and they're not an unfortunate person. But you know what I'm trying to say? That was not the, that is an experience that unfortunately happened to a member of my family. There we go, moving on to number seven. People do not know generally how to read the price tags at Costco and you're welcome to look back at my insider secrets for Costco shopping to ensure that you really know how to read the price tags. But to make a long story short, when you see something generally that ends in 99, you are paying the regular list price. There's often a lower price available. Costco is sneakily giving you a hint. If their price ends in 97, that's what you wanna buy. If the deal is at 99, ending in the price 99 cents, there's the possibility that it'll enter a clearance phase or some other type of deal not too long from when you are shopping. So keep that in mind when you are shopping. Costco has its own language for prices, which is similar to other retailers as well. The eighth way Costco gets you to spend more money is building on this human psychology where we believe if we see a grill advertised in the winter that we are going to buy it because we think it's an off-season discount. There really isn't such a thing in most cases. These days, and as a consumer advocate, I've been working on this for almost two decades, I've learned that stores understand that if they put up Christmas lights in March, we somehow in our mind believe it's a clearance deal and we're more likely to buy it. That's really not the case anymore. The best time to buy a deal is when everyone else is buying it because that's when the promotions and the incentives kick in. Same with back to school shopping, right? It's great at the end of July and the first week of August. If you try to buy your back to school supplies in December, there's just fewer promotions and fewer products. And Costco is definitely aware of that because a lot of the outdoor and power equipment seems to be moved out at the end of September. It's not simply Costco trying to clear stock. I've spoken to people that work in stock rooms for Costco and distributors as well. and They've concluded that there is a bit of a rollout schedule for some of these products. It's not accidental. One other thing you will notice, which is a bonus tip to this number eight, is that Costco constantly reorganizes its store. That's not because they love re-interior decorating, that's because they, they don't want you to figure out their roadmap and their plan. So just keep that in mind, the store is constantly changing, so unless you have no life and few friends like I do, you can't really keep track of it. The ninth way that Costco gets you to spend more money is the insanely generous return policy. There's a risk-free 100% satisfaction guarantee where we will cancel and refund your membership fee at any time if you are dissatisfied, that's number one. And then your ability to make a return is so generous. Studies have found that the average customer is 10 times more likely to make a purchase from a store with a return policy like this. The daily deal sites and many of those one deal a day sale type websites have the most awful return policies and they do not have a lot of repeat customers. Costco has die-hard members that feel they've got this privilege that allows 
people like you and I to shop there. And we will spend more based on the fact that a great return policy is in effect. Now, of course, this is a way that you spend more money through many studies, but it will also show that we're more comfortable as consumers. It's the same thing with IKEA. IKEA has a 365 day return policy, and that has a loyalty through many of the shoppers that visit that store that is unprecedented. So, so Costco knows what it's doing with that return policy. Keep that in mind as number nine. And the 10th way that Costco gets you to spend more money, and I really need to get some graphics so I stop making these hand gestures, but anyhow. Let's use an example of batteries. And this is the same thing for Costco, BJ, Sam's Club. The quantities that they purchase from distributors make it nearly impossible to price compare. It's kind of like that Kirkland thing that I was telling you about. But if you were to go on and just search for AA batteries, obviously Kirkland is going to be your best bet. But let's say you don't want to buy Kirkland batteries. A lot of people don't love the Kirkland batteries. The Duracell batteries that you see have a 40 count for $17.99. If you go to Amazon as an example, good luck finding a 40 count. Nearly impossible. And it's the same thing when you're purchasing batteries from Walmart. Stores understand that we will price compare. We'll use apps. We'll use little search engine extensions that can compare all of the prices. And they want to make that nearly impossible. So Costco will deliberately order quantities for its stores of specific brand name products that include things like Tide, where you can't quickly compare the cost per unit from one store to the next. You really need to do your math and not everyone is shopping with a calculator the way I do. So keep that in mind when you are shopping, Costco has their numerics figured out, they understand how the world operates and they would like you to continue making your purchases there without doing the research beforehand. With that being said, Costco is, is a retailer, not a charity, and they, they do need to continue to operate. So they, they employ certain tactics and methods which any other retailer would do. Some are sneaky, some are just the, the beauty of consumerism. But either way, I hope you like this content. If this assisted you in any way, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn your notifications on. And until we meet again, stay safe, enjoy your shopping. I love you. Bye-bye.